So, continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a blue Goku and Vegeta for the ninth year anniversary, potentially. And this was created January 18th of this year, so this was prior to the ninth year anniversary, for JP, of course. Um, and it's coming in from Sam. I believe I have another card, the next card that I'm doing for tomorrow. It's going to be a person other than Sam. I'm sorry, guys. Sam has just sent me a bunch of cards. I mean... He kept sending me cards when I was not doing custom car reviews. So they just like stacked up, stacked up, and stacked up. And, you know, I, I have to get through them all. So with that being said, send me custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I can review your custom card in the future while I'm getting all these older custom cards out of the way. Um, With that being said, so Sam says, definitely one of my more detailed cards that I've created. Hope you enjoy this beast so i was skimming through this card of course uh thank you sam i was skimming through this card and the post fusion is pretty strong and their base is looking very i feel like it's it's basic but it's good it's like i feel like it it's it's warranted for a blue goku and blue vegeta that fuses into a blue gogeta so uh, with that being said, I think we just jump straight into it. So uh, we have fighting the enraged Saiyan, Blue Goku, and Blue Vegeta. They are super STR. And their leader skill, of course, their stats are as shown. I mean, 21,000 attack and almost 15,000 defense. Wow. So their leader skill is fusion, movie heroes, or accelerated battle three key and one 70% across the board. And their 30% of the stats is two final trump card or realm of gods and they also are a super class leader to three key and 150 of the stats for their like just additional leader skill of course excluding fusion movie heroes and accelerated battle category characters now on this 200 percent leader skill i mean just off the the first line i mean the gammas you have ui you have gogeta himself which you would definitely want to throw right next to these guys you know um triku <laughs> Uh, you have LRUI, you have STRUI, you have STR Vegito. Um, there are a couple of good options. I mean, you have Dragon Fist, you have in Go Tanks, you have Kefla, so on and so forth. So his uh, or their 12 key, not his 12 key. So their 12 key, uh, they stack defense and gain 50% attack for one turn while doing colossal damage to the enemy with a 30% chance to dodge, including super attacks, of course. And their 18 key, they stack attack and defense and do mega colossal damage to the enemy with a 50% chance to dodge. Now, I have seen dodge inside a vanilla Dokkan card for their super attack effect and it's this guy i think this is the only card in dokkan that gains dodge chance and this is only for one turn this dodge chance is only for one turn uh is he the only card in dokkan that gets dodge chance on super for his super attack effect i think he's the only dokkan card that has dodge chance in his super attack effect i could be wrong but this is the first time i've ever seen this on a card now going back over to the card so, his passive, he activates, or their passive, because it's Goku and Vegeta. Their passive activates the interest animation when there is another movie hero's category ally attacking in the same turn. And with that interest animation buff, they get 100% attack and defense with guard for the first four turns. And this card also starts out with 140% attack and defense at the start of turn, plus an additional 40% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Does it look good on the other screen? It does. It looks perfect. Uh, plus an additional 80% attack and defense as the second or third to attack in the turn. And fusion or movie heroes category allies, two key and 30% attack and defense. And they're also two key per key sphere obtained. So their passive is very very basic and standard like i said before i started reading that card their two keeper keys are obtained which helps them get to above their 18 key to so they can go ahead and stack their attack and even get that 50 percent chance to dodge uh they also are a support type unit to the categories that they lead right because they lead both fusion and movie heroes which i obviously like that when there's a unit that's supporting the category that they lead it's always something that's very helpful for 
them being on a rotation with those specific units that are on their team. So, like I said, they are a support type unit. They're two keeper keys are obtained. They also get an attack and defensive buff from their passive to their super attack effect. Uh, they also guard for the first four turns. And with that guard, it helps them smoothly go into you fusing into blue gogeta because their activation condition can be activated on or after the fourth turn from the start of battle when hp 60 percent or more so it's going to be pretty easy to get into gogeta i mean provided you don't take too much heavy damage before you get on the rotation you're below this hp threshold for whatever reason but provided that you make it to, to this fourth turn or above it's going to be pretty damn easy for you to get this blue gogeta transformation for sure. I mean, well, fusion, not transformation, but you guys get the gist. So within this base form, I would, would I change anything? Um, I think the only thing I'd give to this card, I feel like this base is fine because they have that guard for the first four turns to protect them before they get into their blue Gogeta fusion. So, yeah, they have the guard for the first four turns as protection for them to get into their active skill fusion. They support both the categories that they lead, that being fusion and movie heroes. They are two keeper keys to obtain, so they can very easily get to their 18 key super and get that 50% chance to dodge as well as stacking attack and defense. I would probably only give them a guaranteed super when they hit 24 key. Or maybe 18 key. 24, 18 key. I, either or. Uh, I mean maybe reward them for getting above their 18 key super that's probably the only thing i'd, I'd give because they have guard with a 50 percent chance to dodge post super of course while stacking in both of their super attack effects while gaining an attack defensive buff from both their passive to their super attack effects um their support type unit two keeper keys are obtained and of course they get more attack and defense provided they're inside the second or third slot to attack i feel like this base is looking pretty all right looking pretty all right to me as post super, they have guard with a 50% chance to dodge. I mean, you can't beat that, right? <laughs> it's always nice while wow, they're stacking, of course. So we then go into Blue Gogeta fighting the Enraged Sand, by the way. Cool name for like the little, the little like title above uh, Blue Gogeta. I think that's for the base too, right? For, for both of them? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. All right. So Blue Gogeta is broken. I'm just going to say that out, right? It's, I mean, no surprise. <laughs> Sam, are you a Gogeta fan? You gotta be a Gogeta. Are you a Gogeta fan? Because, listen, I ain't judging. I like Gogeta. I'm more of a Vegito guy myself, but I like both fusions. You know, they're, they're cool, okay? But this post-transformation is, well, post-fusion. Their post-fusion is crazy. Okay, so their new super attack effects, they gain, well, they're not they anymore because it's just Gogeta. So his new super attack effects, 12 key, 50% attack and defense for one turn while doing Colossal Damage to the Enemy. And his new 18 key, 100% attack and defense one turn while doing Meg Colossal Damage to the Enemy. So good. Uh, passive, guaranteed dodge for one turn. 200% attack and defense, 100% attack and defense if performing a super attack, 100% attack and defense if you're the second or third attack in the turn, a 70% chance to dodge after the first turn from their first appearance. So after they get that guaranteed dodge, or just him, after he gets that, that guaranteed dodge, he goes from 100% chance to dodge to into a 70% chance to dodge, just nice. All allies get three key and 50% attack and defense, so monstrous support. Two key per keys are obtained, 20% attack and defense up to 100% per attack abated, so very very easily they just build that up by just dodging five whole attacks uh what else what else we have here performs an additional attack that has a 70 percent chance to come a super attack when facing an extreme class enemy shouldn't be too tough um provided you're facing an extreme class enemy of course performs an additional attack that has a 70 percent chance to come a super attack when there is a pure sans category enemy cough cough broly uh specifically of course dragon ball super broly full power broly and performs a guaranteed crit when all characters attack in the same turn are movie heroes category Okay, so let's just go ahead and let's talk about everything that this card just gets. So within the first turn, you have guaranteed dodge and you build up with just five dodges. Easy. You get that free 100% attack and defense. So guaranteed dodge within the first turn and also gets a 70% chance to dodge after the first turn. Uh, what, what else? What else? 200% uh, attack and defense, an attack and defensive buff from their passive to their super attack effects. Uh, a, what else? Uh, 
three key and 50% attack and defense to all allies. Crazy. Two key for keys to obtain. Um, two additional super attack chances provided you're facing a pure Saiyans category enemy or an extreme class enemy. So this character can do two plus supers from their passive while having guaranteed crits when you have a movie heroes category character. Well, movie heroes, full movie heroes category. Uh, what's the a full movie heroes category rotation? Okay. So guarantee crits, guarantee dodge, a 70% chance to dodge. Easy attack and defensive build up, two additional super attack chances inside their, their kit. Crazy support, two keeper keys are obtained. The only thing this character is missing is orb changing. Orb changing, and is that it? Like just maybe just orb changing. Um, they're looking pretty fine with stats because you have 100% attack and defense here, you have 50% attack and defense here from their support. Um, provided you, for whatever reason, want to throw them inside the second or third slot, um, after the first turn, of course, just to go ahead and get that additional 100% attack and defense inside the second slot, 100% attack and defense performing a super attack, 200% attack and defense at the start of turn, and then 100% attack and defense on their 18 key super. And if they do two plus supers, provided you fulfill these conditions of facing an extreme class character slash a pure sans category enemy, um, defense is going to be looking immaculate post super. And... Add that to the fact that on that next turn, they're going to have a 70% chance to dodge. I mean, what is this card missing? Orb changing. Um, this card does not need the nuke. Um, one thing I will say, if you're stacking, there is, I mean, it, cool. It's cool points, but if you're a stacker, there is no reason you need to go ahead and transform and become a nuker. Or fuse, transform, exchange. If you use your active skill, after becoming, after stacking aside your previous uh, transformation or wherever it is, for whatever card it is, um, and then you go straight into a nuking, like, character, that's crazy. The only thing this character is missing is orb changing. That's it. That's, and, and even then, I feel like this card has enough utility because three key and 50% attack and defense is bananas. That's absolutely bananas. So I think that is about it. And active skill, 300% attack temporarily causes ultimate damage to enemy and it delays enemy action for one turn. What is that, a Ghost Usher? I don't, I don't remember. It can be activated when HP is 50% or below. And they get Fuse Fighter replaced for Prepare for Battle. No over in a flash is interesting for Gogeta. I think Godly Power could have replaced over in a flash. Probably that, I, I'd probably say that. Or maybe same Warrior Race. Maybe not godly power, but same warrior race for sure. Yeah, yeah. O over in a flash could replace that. But um, Gogeta busted. Guarantee crits, guarantee dodge with easy attack and defensive buildup. Three key and 50% attack and defense to all allies is crazy. Two key for keys to obtain. Two uh, additional super attack chances built into their kit. I mean, what more is there to say? A 70% chance to dodge after that guarantee dodge turn. You guys get the gist. Crazy good super attack effects. I mean, standard. I mean, well, this is not standard. Is it? No, it's not. This is well good good and <laughs> it's probably standard for custom cards and then for the base where you just want to stack up and get like you know a good amount of attack and defense just built up from their 18 key super attack effect to their of course their 12 key super attack effect where they just regularly stack defense i mean crazy uh does if this character double supers does this 30 percent chance to dodge stack onto their already 50 percent chance to dodge Sam, I have questions. Sam, we got questions here. Okay, so I think that is about it. I have almost no problem with this this post fusion. Almost no problems. I think this is like perfect, like near perfect, crazy. Um, and then for this form, what did I say? I think I'd only did I say additional super attack chance? I think additional super attack chance reward them for getting to eighteen or more key. That's it, because I get where Sam's going with this. Because you want to, of course, have that guard and 50% chance to dodge, of course, post-super within those first four turns for the guard and that post-super 50% chance to dodge um, to go ahead and protect them until they get to Blue Gogeta. That's about it. Yeah. So I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next video. And I absolutely love you all. Send me custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I can go ahead and review your custom card in the future while I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way. Uh, we're moving at a good pace. We are. And join the 24-7 Discord server. A link to the Discord server is down below in the description below. Worldwide. I was going to do a live stream for worldwide. Like if anybody's watching the end of the video, I might repeat it for the next video. 
Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do a live stream for Worldwide because I'm going to be out of town. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to. That, that upsets me. Damn. Should I wait till I get back? Hmm. If the discounts stay up for a good while, while I'm away, and when I come back, if the discounts don't end by the time I come back, then, I, then I'll just do a summon stream. But if they end before I come back, then I'm just going to summon while off camera. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next week. I love you all. Peace.